I'm probably a pretty dirty player to be honest. I was always small and I loved being a defender. I was always left back. No, not that dirty, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, a, yeah, I'm a, I like hard tackles. It's difficult, I suppose, is that there's quite, because there's like the Arsenal side of things and there's also the Irish side of things that we were brought up so heavily with, you know what I mean? So like, you know, the Robbie Keynes, for example, or the Roy Keynes, or the Dennis Irwins were always someone that were really like, you know, the Paul McGraths or whatever like that were always someone, you know, they were really held in high regard in Ireland. But I think for me as an Arsenal fan, it's got to be like Thierry Henry, Burkamp, Overmars, mate, that era of... Arsenal were the players that, for me, were the age when I was first getting into, you know, remembering football and watching it and taking in yeah. the details of it more, you know. So there's like a guy you got a selfie with. If, if it's got to be Thierry Henry. Yeah. It's so, to be. What, do you reckon you could collaborate with him on some sort of music or something like that? <laughs> I don't he's know. Quite, he's quite a charismatic guy. He is, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I didn't know he had any, didn't, uh, did much with music, but uh, yeah, if he's, mate, I would take any, I'd take a four bar, 16 bar. You can just do some P. Diddy ad libs in the background. Do what you want. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> like, he's got a free rate. That boy, he, he did that advert, was it? Vroom, vroom, or yeah, something like that. Mate, va, va, boom, that was it. If you do that in the background, I'll take it. To be honest, I think a lot of Arsenal, I wouldn't say a lot, but I think a certain number of Arsenal fans got a bit out of control at some point. It was like, it all got, who can be the loudest, you know what I mean? Yeah. Probably being backed up by Arsenal TV, which is great, and at maybe points, maybe it's only a bit detrimental because it was so, yeah. you know, who's the loudest voice of negative? And I think sometimes the team don't need to hear that, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, they're young lads, and, um, you know, Wenger's trying to do what he can do, you know? Um, but, yeah, I think it was a, uh, I think it was the right time. I used to live in Stoke Newington. I was born in Stoke Newington. Um, so Arsenal was, you know, kind of around us quite a lot when we were younger. I moved to Ireland and was raised in Ireland and kind of went off. Um, and then I, my, when I came back, when I was about 17, you know, I hadn't really, I don't think I'd ever gone to a, a you know, Premier League football game. So it was nice to, when I first moved into Finity Park to actually be able to go and go and, 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 and see the team and be around the spirit in Finsbury Park of it, man. They're like my fondest memories when I first came back. For the last two years, I've kind of changed a lot of the people around me and I've got a new team, a lot of family members, a lot of like close people who've been around me for a long while. So I spent the last year or two doing a lot of writing for other people and that kind of took over for me finishing off the album for a while. I wrote them, this, this album to a lot of videos and visuals and movies on mute. So they're all, every single song is inspired by a piece of film. Shay Marie. Bra my hail. Sheelam Oren Tegwil Shay wrote Ian Dundownshire. To feel along with me Shay Kerkalor Stuntin. I think my voice has gotten a lot better. I found my voice a lot more. Because um, I never, I used to always sing, but when I started, even on my first record, it wasn't really, it was a singer's record, but I came from a spitting background and I used to sing my choruses because I lived in a small town, there was no one else to sing my choruses apart from me. And then my voice developed more and more and I was always singing and, you know, writing more kind of soulful influence, soulful folk influence songs when I went on the road from the first record, it was really me practicing like, and learning where, where my voice was comfortable and growing with it. And rather than singing from here, singing from here and singing from here. And it was shit that I never, you know, I never really realized. Um, and then it developed more into the second album. I started progressing more. And now for this, I feel like, yeah, my voice is at its sweet spot. I think my neighbors have been listening and I'm on the door, complaining to the screen. I think they left me spinning. 